we're in Bowden Town in Aruba, searching through the caves, the underground caves where pirates buried some of their treasures. A lot of these caves are made out of dead coral. You can see where the light is pouring through. And we've got all kinds of nooks and crannies where you could hide your doubloon. There is no question about it. Let's see what else we can find. Definitely having to squat down because of these caves. And every once in a while, we find these funny guys. I'm not sure what that means. They may have had a pirate cabaret down here at one point. But here you can see there's lots of areas that pirates could absolutely bury their treasures. Ooh. Getting quite humid down here. I can smell the remains of I'm not sure what exactly. <gasps> A bat. Did you see that? Whoa! There's bats. Oh my god, there's bats. There's bats. There's piles of bats. Not happy with the bats. No, no. Whoa, not happy with the bats. Uh, uh. Yeah, no, no. Didn't expect that. Oh, I think I'm going further. That's, did you see? Whoa, look at that. All right, I don't think we'll be going that way. There's bats. Yeah, three of them just flew at me. Blackbeard's Castle, all right, let's, uh, Let's see if we can find it. I think we turn right here. Oh, the Britannia House. So behind me is the Blackbeard Castle, where the infamous pirate Blackbeard, who sailed the Caribbean in the early 18th century. And it's become a bit of the pirate lore in the islands that he used this castle as a lookout for a lot of his pirating dastardly deeds. Now, unfortunately, it's closed right now for renovation. Otherwise, we'd be able to get inside. But this is Blackbeard's Castle in St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Great.